I mean, hundreds of people are under a boil order tonight because their community water is contaminated. Two of the town springs were contaminated Saturday, and as new specialist Jed Bull shows us, it could be a week or more before residents can drink their tap water. Yuck, Jed. Yeah, Dini, right now we're in down, we're right in the middle of town here in Trent, right behind us is Town Hall and also the post office. It's a small, quiet farming community, and tonight a number of residents got together here in this community building to purify water from a high-tech purification system on loan from a Logan company. Just one of several ways that people in this community are coping without having any tap water. Not far from the Idaho border, Trenton, Utah, is home to fewer than 500 people. We were able to identify the fact that we have a major problem. 170 homes are tied into community water, but right now, those families cannot use their taps. We were proactive about dealing with it, and now we know where we've got to focus on fixing that major problem. Logan-based purification company, Aquamira, set up this purifier so people can fill large jugs. The biggest problem is teaching the kids, you know, like she got an apple out of the fridge and went and washed it under the tap. Can't do that right now. No drinking from the tap and no teeth brushing without bottled water. Make you nervous? It does because I have a baby and, you know, with her formula and stuff that I had to mix, I I'm nervous about that. Marla Trowbridge is a town council member and the water manager. It's beautiful water. Oh, it's freaking inconvenient. <laughs> During heavy rains this weekend, surface water inundated two of the city's six springs, bringing with it bacteria and parasites and an E. coli test as high as 46 parts per billion. That tells you it's pretty bad. I mean, you any E. coli in the drinking water you shouldn't be drinking the water. The short-term plan is to take the bad springs offline, clean the system, and get it running again. And we are E. coli negative for a couple of samples. Um, we'll be able to lift the boil order. Working with the state, they hope to accomplish that within a week. Yeah, this is what I bought, and this will, we'll just run it at home, probably in our downstairs bathroom. Until then, Judy Ogden will use this Aquamira portable filter for clean water at home. The inconvenience is habit because you, you go to the sink and you turn on the water and you think, oh, I can't use that. Yeah, so it's certainly not easy living without the tap water. This, the town had already applied for a grant to take care of upgrading one of those springs that failed. Now they're also going to apply for some emergency money to get the job done a lot quicker. So far, though, everybody that I've spoken with seems to be rolling with this problem pretty well. Ideally, they get the problem fixed in a week. Yeah, you don't appreciate clean water until you don't have access to it. Jed Bull live for us this evening in Trenton. Jed, thank you.